loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why You're does he do that? you me to explain Uncle Howdy? Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Uncle Howdy! We're gonna get kicked off whatever run. Boo! You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. What was your reaction to Joseph Stalin's death? Oh, I just cried. <laughs> what? I cried and cried. Do you oh, know who we, Joseph Stalin is? Are we the is? same Joseph Stalin here? I'm making a joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she was so just... sincere. Did Brian bring you back anything nice from his holiday? <laughs> he didn't even get in touch with me while he was gone. I got a quick feeling sad because I'm old. Nobody wants to do anything with an old person. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you are just filled with such joy to drop these guilt bombs all over this show. Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. It's Bret, isn't it? It's not Bert, it's Bret. Right? <laughs> it's your report, Granny. Whatever you want it to be. Bert Hart. Santa Claus comes in and puts a Santa Claus hat on Brett. Didn't make any sense. Reigns versus Sammy. Oh, I, man. I watched that dumb thing twice. Ray Uso comes in, beats on Sammy. In the end, Reigns pins Sammy, as expected. I had to give that one a 10. A 10? <laughs> wow. Wow. You have not given a lot of 10s. That is a stellar rating. And The Undertaker wasn't even involved. That's right. That may be the first 10 you've ever given that involved The Undertaker uh, or myself. I got Bang Brothers down here. What's that? Uh -oh. <laughs> now, when is that match? Well, that's... <laughs> those, those kids look, Brian, those two look pretty skinny. If you don't win this time, something's wrong. Well, first off, I am, I am going to win. Tom and I are going to beat off the challenge of them bang bros. March 25th wait, wait, for what? Black Label Pro. You heard me. me. Dreamer, a ravine, and <laughs> what's wrong with the dreamers in a ravine? You mean raven? Okay. <laughs> you can look at that either way. Is that bad? No, you can't. His name is Raven. You cannot look at it as ravine. This absolutely 100% still holds up. And it's not because they did a bunch of insane, crazy, violent things with the ladder. It's because... It's a really, really, really great wrestling match that mm -hmm. happens to have a ladder involved. A post-show promo by John Moxley, and he stumbles into a stairwell and has cut this promo on Hangman bleeding all over the place. And it's, pardon my language, the fucking best. Fucking wrestler of the year. I and I don't want to hear otherwise. The Elite come out for a promo. But they are very quickly interrupted by the House of Black, and they lay the elite out, and they pose with the uh, trio's tag team titles. Yeah, I didn't like it at all. The fans start to fucking boo because they figured out that was the elite segment for tonight. And as it turns out, that was the entire elite segment for the night. They walked out on stage, they got their ass kicked, and we never saw them again. That did happen. That was a very un-AEW thing to do. We just watched the uh, Sean and Razor ladder match. Talked about how that was a great match that happened to have a ladder in it. It was not just a bunch of cool stuff. This was a bunch of cool stuff. AR Fox is laid out atop a ladder, and he stays there as a series of people jump on his guts over and over and over again. As Taz notes... Hopefully we won't see a small intestine shoot out his big intestine. I also hope we don't see that. If you are one of the people who are upset about this match because there was a time or two the ladders were malfunctioning and referees had to hold them so guys would fall off them without dying, you are a putz. You are no fun to hang out with. It's not the referee's fault. It's not Hobbs' fault. It's not the wrestler's fault. It's whoever filmed the guys. It's that guy's fault. If you want to yell at somebody. Casino Tag Team Battle Royal. Oh, man. Holy crap. Didn't like it. And he says, you are going to get your... And there's all sorts of weird audio shuffling and censoring 
He said, you're gonna get your fucking head kicked in. That was an up and down, very weird episode of Rampage all in all. There was some great stuff and there was some bad stuff. Booker T says, this is Wesley, he's like a shark. Vic says, what kind of shark? Booker says, he's like, he's like a great white. Okay, what else? Booker drawing a blank. So Vic says, is he, a, is he a whale shark? And Booker is trying to get caught up and he, he, he says he's a, he's a, he's a Mamagalodon. <laughs> <laughs> no men understand women. We want to zig when they want us to zag. And the virgin looks away, but I want to zag. I was hyperventilating. I was laughing so hard. My vision went black. I don't know if track of where I was. He is a very convincing virgin. I'm, yes, and no I've known some virgins in my life, Vinny. Some may be on the he's, show. He's a very convincing one. Her mother beat the hell out of her regularly. She fled at the age of 15 to try to be a wrestler and make enough money to save her brother from pain and suffering. Like, dude. That I don't took want a to dark turn. That is way dark. I don't want to see you fight JC Jane now. I want to see you get therapy. I want to see you get counseling. I really want to find out if your brother's gone. And if not, let's get a GoFundMe and let's see if we can get him out of there. This is horrible. They get these reaction shots of the other students, and this is this is my favorite part. It's like it's like a fucking Scooby Doo cartoon. Sean's sitting back there at his desk, and someone comes up and goes, "Fuck, dude! Wendy Chu was was doing uh, military press. She hurt her shoulder. What the fuck are we gonna do?" And Sean's like, "Ah, oh, goddamn it! We'll book another parking lot gimmick." <laughs> Ah, put it in a parking lot. They laugh about it. and They just do it again. It's like, that's part of NXT now. If you get hurt, you will be injured in that fucking parking lot. The parking lot is a character. The parking lot is a heel on this show. Sol Ruka versus Electra Lopez. It was short. It was mostly fine. There was one box. What are you talking screen. about? This fucking sucked. All right, I tried. The fucking fornicator is going to fuck Kiana. What did they make of the fornicating fucker? God. When he said, don't worry, I'll talk to Kiana for you, my mind was fucking blown. Oh, man. Like, something's going to happen here. NXT was a really good show this week. So, yeah, two good shows. It's been a long time, yeah. since so both shows were that good.